Well, it's well, it's time for a base assault. I'll note that I jumped into this already to like notice briefly see what this is going to be like uh, against the Alien Fortress, and something very interesting happened as soon as I basically uh, took it down, and I'll basically do that, and I'll basically show you it. And we get a nice little message that says, and yes, we're gonna get a nice little message. Alien Predator present. The amount of alien communications traffic in the area is far higher than normal, Commander. The aliens seem worried about something. I strongly suspect that there is a Predator in the vicinity. It would strike a terrible blow against our foes if your men were able to capture alive for interrogation. We would be close to ending this war once and for all. So yes, an alien Predator is present. And there's actually a lot of neat things that basically happen when, you know, that's basically the case. I'll be basically showcasing it. So yeah, basically, fill with dread, fill with dread, fill with dread. And there's a reaper right there. That was, uh... That wasn't here last time, so that's interesting. Let's uh, make sure he doesn't hurt me. Bye bye. So basically, it's filled with dread. Basically, what it means is that all my guys have lost some uh, other TU power. And those guys are not going to be uh, too useful this turn. So we're going to see how this goes. I only briefly went into his base, so I don't know exactly where everything's going to be. I'm going to put you there. Sit right there for now. Let's put him there. And you march right there. Have you march up over here? Just go there for now. We're gonna have another one of these guys go here. If possible, you're gonna walk all the way over here. And we'll have this guy go here for now. So yes, I have to be very careful with managing my troops in this one because that drip can basically hurt me a lot. It can basically hit at any time, so I don't know when my guys might lose them to use or not. It's interesting how that Reaper was there. So yeah, dread, dread, dread. Randomly, my guys will lose to use is basically the thing here. And you know, this is actually different from last time. B basically, when I hit this the first time, there's a bunch of Saisons. These are Reapers and civilians, which is interesting. Before is uh, Saisons and Wraiths. Not sure that's bad, though. Specifically. Uh, so if you move over here, you can move right there.
So there's teleporters here. I will note this, even though um, the uh, alien types are different, what's not different is the fact that these are, you know, um, the same like base set. We had like these, uh, when we hit this the first time, there was this over here and then, well I didn't go much farther than this, but this teleport room is here and right next to the base. There's an officer right there. I can sort of get accuracy on this guy. He's alone in here, which is good, I guess. Let this guy take a pot shot at him, I think. One hit. Move you in close. Yeah, I have to play this very carefully. Not only have to watch out for the Predator's abilities, but it's also got, you know, like Dread ability just by being a Predator. Send you over this way. And I want you to... I don't know. You might want to actually go this way. But you can't get close enough. No, well, that's close enough. Go right there. I'll we'll see how this works. The thing about these civilians is that they got heavy weapons now. Plus, they're all going to be high-ranking civilians too, so they're going to have lots of HP and such. You're suppressed, that's a benefit to me. I could move this guy to try and burst him. Nice, I got him. See, he's out of the picture. That's scary, you're right there. I can fire this at him. And... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not taking prisoners for these guys. Behind cover. You can sit right there. This guy ran away a little bit, so he's probably right behind here now. This might be dangerous, but. Oh, there's a guy there now. I'm tempted to try and suppress this guy. Let's move you here instead. Move up there. Let's move you over here. This guy may have a shield, but it's not immune to like explosive fire like that, so those guys might be really painful to fight, is the thing. Let's 
Move you here. Have you take a shot at this guy. Or not. You don't have the to use for it. Ah, uh, my sniper can go right there. Okay, he's gone. Uh oh, Reaper. Making him a talk sound, the Reapers are. That's something to watch out for. Teleporters, the Reapers could come from those. Oh, perfect. Uh, Guess who has the TU loss? The guys with the big heavy weapons. Let's go here. There's a spilling up there. Uh, so that's all the way up there, the teleporter. Unfortunately, Frank can't join you as yet, so. Alright, how am I going to deal with this guy? Probably like this. Down he went. Scary, metallic reapers. You're there now. Go for it. Nope, that's short. And you can't really get out of the way either. Could try and go for a fro. There we go. One of those got to him. You're Chris here now, of course, so that's great. Can you get up to. No, you can't, Sally. Well, let's try throwing another grenade at him. And Sally only got two, one, two, one of three. I don't think I'll be able to kill him. Blow up this cover, but that's about it. You Sally don't have to use it to continue on to this guy, so... Come up here for now. Now I can't fire at me. This guy's gonna be a pain, but whatever. As for you. I could throw that, but let's just take. Wow, I killed him instantly. That was unexpected. Hope there's no aliens over here. So these guys are gonna have an easier time. Because nothing's around for the moment. I'm gonna have you run over here. You run over here. You right there. Well, 
there goes the cover. And he's throwing a grenade at me. <laughs> Ow. One of my guys went down. I knew it was going to hurt, but damn, that really hurt. Um... Maybe I could try walking up to him and shooting him point blank. Who else do I see in here? Oh, that's that, that guy right down there. That's fine. One hit. Two hits. So that's done. There's that guy right there. Okay, these guys have big heavy cans and battle rifles. Down you go. guy's here now. I'm gonna move you here for now. Get you to oh you can't heal up, so pick up his thing. I didn't completely heal him up, but oh well. You were almost dead. Move her this way and hopefully she can get around to this guy if necessary. And as for you, there's a, that door's locked. I don't think I can open it. That's scary. I can't take out two of them at once. Or can I? Uh You're out of the way. All right, we did take them both out at once. That's fine. I can live with that. Miss. Your still bleeding. Uh, where'd this guy go? He must be here now. Well, that's done. I'm gonna keep this around this med back, I guess. Might need it for this guy in a moment. Face right there. Uh, 
sit there for now. This guy went in the door, so I don't know where he is now. These guys like this. Oh wow, another reaper. I think these are reapers. Can you get up to that guy? He's out of the way. This is actually really scary with all these damn reapers. I'm lucky none have gotten close enough to, you know, hit me. You're out of ammo. I got to reload. There's a civilian over there. Perfect time for Dread to hit these guys. We need to reload. On the uh, sort of scout out to make sure there's nothing else around here. Oh, hello. I see you now. Okay, suppressed him. One face hit. Two face hit. That's out of the way. Let's have you run up there. Oh, great. There's another one right here now. Um... Run over here now. Lots of calculations basically here. Okay, there's that guy. I'm not sure I want to try and tackle this guy just yet, but I know where he's right there now, so. She barely has a TU to throw anything, so. Dread. Now oh, she's got dread. Dread, 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 dread. Right, I'll send you over here. I think that this alien may have ran away, possibly, for a moment. Let's 
move this guy up here. Alright, this is possibly doable with these guys, so let's go up here, open a door. Right to the face. Put you there. Uh, I see a vent over here. Not sure what these are. Maybe it might be vents too. You can go right there. You'll go right there. These guys are nice, but... <sighs> I made a mistake. He's right there in front of me. Crap. Oh, they didn't kill him. That's convenient. Um, he's there now. Do I dare try and walk him all the way up over here, though, to him? Might be more prudent to move you away at the moment. I see nothing that way for the moment. Alright, let's see what this is event maybe up here. Be nice if I could join my other guys with like my, with my shotgun or something like that. Sit right there. You go up there. Rifle him, whatever. There's this guy here. Down he goes. I'm doing a pretty good job at least eradicating these guys. The Saisons were just completely annoying when I was uh, fighting them. Dread, dread, dread. Send you up here. The other major problem I sort of have is just the fact that when I was attacking them, I was being really reckless with my attacks too. You do a med bag, so I'm fine with taking you up here. Can't attack that apparently, so I don't think it's a vent or anything. This, however, I know is a vent, so.
Come on, open. Well, that was just wasted, but whatever. There's some teleporters. I think just move you across the room. No door in here. Move you there. Move you here. Damn, both these guys are full of dread. Um, go put him here. Put you there. Uh, didn't expect him to do that. That was a really big civilian when he did that. So both those guys died. No civilian. One hit. I figure I was going to have you go here. Back up here for now. Teleport. Well, there's a thing to blow up the base if I want to. Just make sure it goes away. You're over there now. Yeah, he's very good about making sure that it's um, not getting shot at. That's all I have to do for you. Hopefully, you don't get shot in a moment, but we'll see. You can go right there. There's a door right there I missed. Whoops. Uh, go right there. Send you right there. you right there. Oh, more teleporters, why not? Wonder where they go. Ooh. Can't fire. <laughs> oh, they didn't kill him. That's not good. Um, how close can you get to throw a grenade? K 
But he should be able to throw a grenade if I move him closer, so... That should be it for him. We'll see where we just go in a moment. Alright, you're right there. Down he goes. I might try guarding up my, my guys a moment just to protect them a little bit. I just sit. Go there for now. Okay, he's gone. Dread, dread, good old dread. this way. And... Oh, cool. This is at least right here. Um, maybe I'll gather all my guys, perhaps. But then they're gonna gather up here anyway, so... Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna send her actually with these guys over here. And these other guys are just going to play uh, defense. Hey, there we go. We opened it. Nice. Do this. We feel with dread, of course. You there. Oopsie. Well, there's the guy with the uh, grenade who used it. I know where he, no, I now know where he is. He's not right there. Whoops, that didn't work. That's gonna be somewhat annoying. my guys went down. It will be avenged. I might take out this guy's rifle, because that's probably better than the sniper rifle I've got right now. He's right there. Go for it. That didn't kill him. 
Hurt him, but didn't kill him. At least I don't think I killed him. Or I did kill him. All very nice. Take this. Take the ammo. Drop that. Drop this. Uh, take these. That was like a good one. And onward. These guys are more or less cut up. I could keep shooting this. But look at that, there's our predator friend. So I found him. Now, my understanding of the Praetor is that you can't knock him out with uh, stun grenades and such. You have to use, like, stun batons on him. Physical damage. So it should be interesting fighting him. Send you right there. And dread. Not gonna worry about what's up here for now. We're just gonna get these guys in position. Looks like there's the raiders up there. Dread, dread, dread. Move you here. Move you there. So who has uh, stun batons? I know that the uh, heavy weapons guy carries them. So I think it's just my heavy weapons guy who has stun batons. So I'm going to have to probably go back and pick up the other ones I had. I know where they are. Pick up one yourself. Actually, I'll send you back. You'll get the most to use. Um, have you picked one up? I might send her around. Oh, they decided to come attack me. Well, I took out one. There's the cover. Oh, I'm getting lots of reaction fire from these guys. Uh oh, grenade. Oh! 
And we have alien controls. Basically what's happened here is one of the guys has been turned to a puppet. So he's no longer under my control. Um... I guess the plan here... Try and take out as many of these guys as possible. There's the Praetor. I hope I can stun my own guy so he doesn't hurt me. Be nice if he goes down. Uh, let's have you go... After him, I guess. Shoot you. Well, there's no time basically to go after... Get a rod, so... Why is it not going down? My guy is damn resilient. Yeah, I miss. Yeah, I was afraid of something like that happening. So basically, he's my controlled now. That's scary. There's still three civilians in here. And a Praetor. Uh... Grenade him. Do that. I think I can take a beating. I don't know if that's good or bad, depending on how I look at it. <laughs> Note to self, this is really, really bad. Ow. Oh, is he no longer my controlled? Cool, so that's worth knowing. It's only my control for so long. Um, you're bleeding. Just heal up yourself. Heal up her. Oh yeah, this guy's a scary weapon too, by the way. One hit. Two hits.
This is going to be really painful, this going and hit these guys. You're out of the way. Yes, the hitting battle begins. I'll note by the way that these guys, um, they may take a lot of damage from the Sentinel, but very little. Basically, the Sentinel has like a, you know, a special property where his weapon will either inflict a lot of damage or no damage at all, pretty much. Here. Marlow's companion just committed at this point. Let's see if I can take him out. And he didn't do anything. Okay. Hit him in the face. Well, that's unfortunate, but at least I captured the Praetor. Um, a lot of my guys get killed. One guy from the mind control. One for, uh, two guys for stupidity of the grenade. But, you know what? That's actually something I'm going to take. Just for a simple reason that it's, it's going to be difficult regardless of this with the Praetor in there. So... War for cap successful capture of a live alien command unit. Very nice. Praetor interrogation. So I'll be done. So note to self, if they land like a base, it's not necessarily going to be the uh, outfit that landed, so to speak. And pretty much everyone here is injured as hell. Um, let's put you in wolf. Give you a regular pistol. Regular ammo. And we'll just unassign you. So Rocketeer Rifleman Assault. I need to get a new sniper. I gotta get, I gotta get a lot of new stuff for everyone here, basically. But whatever. You're gonna be a sniper. You'll be my. Actually, what am I doing? I should just do it like this. Ching. Um. Do that. Get rid of that. We'll put on this. Sure, you can have, uh... Oh, I got insufficient equipment. What am I missing? Oh, in fact, I've already got riflemen, so... Okay. I'm gonna make him an assault. You got the default equipment. Well, you're going to be my new guy for here. Tap, 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 tap. All the many deaths I suffered there. I hope it was worth it, he's capturing that guy. So I need another heavy weapons guy here and another shield. Well, let's make you a shield. And...
Two shields, two riflemen, two assault. Who am I missing? Another heavy weapons, dude. Missing another heavy weapons, dude. And I don't really have a good, you know, accuracy guy, so I really need to recruit one. I have to recruit a lot of guys to replace all the guys I just, you know, lost. So let's see her. Who do I got to hire? Um, that's really weak, but I guess he's sort of decent. You're decent overall. I like his bravery, even though his HP is kind of weak. Pick all those guys up. Here's an assault. I'll pick him up just for that. Actually, all these guys are pretty decent for assaults and shields, so I'll pick all of those guys up. I'm probably going to lose more guys in the future, so... There we go, some of accuracy. Uh, I guess those guys will do, but I'll get this guy well. Yeah, no. It, it, it's got too low accuracy and too low HP, even though it's got good everything else. Well, that's pretty much going to be it for, uh, this episode. A couple of losses there, but... I'm more or less happy with that outcome. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. And we'll commence one of these. At each of these places. Mars are expensive, but they're easy, pretty damn quick to build. I'll just build one of those quickly then. Do it like that. And I'll leave that it for this episode. We'll see what happens in the future. I'll do the alien period interrogation problem. I should probably be in the, you know, the after episode, though I pretty much already did the after episode stuff already. Or you know what? Maybe I'll just do it in this episode right now. We'll just go, you know. This, you know, push forward. And here comes the UFOs. Got one guy doing a base attack. And another guy doing construction. And a ground attack. Um, I'm tempted to try and let this guy hit me. So... But Alpha is also really weakened at this point. Hit you with that. Hit you with the... That and that. Hit you with the Corsair. Then I got someone down here. Gonna do a damage account with this guy. Whoopsie. Took a little bit of damage there.
pulverize him. And just get out of there. It's a little bit of damage to that carrier. And the rest of the guys should finish him off when they reach him. If they reach him. Well, that's not what I want to see. Gotta screw around this edge very narrowly. Shoot. He might be dead. Well, he got shot down. That guy's gonna be a nuisance then. He's gonna build a base somewhere if I don't uh, send you know these guys after him at some point. Okay, select a uh, new target. He's doing research. Uh, our resolve is blown up. Take that shot down. Let's airstrike it. We're not going to attack with Alpha because he's already injured. You know, his troops and such. Oopsie, I overshot him. Well, I'll definitely have to get these extra Marauders up so I can do a little bit more damage against these carriers. Oh well. I'm going, uh, we're not going to catch mine, I don't think. Or maybe it's dead. You did. Cool. Nice. I got nothing to really hit this guy with. You know, here's what I'm thinking about doing with this guy. Do it like that. Return to base. Done with it. I could let him attack, but you know I didn't feel like letting him do that with Alpha being weak and you know for no you know attack I did with on the other uh, base. That guy landed right there on the uh, Philippines, or that's the Philippines. Maybe it's Philippines. 
No, it's Indonesia down there. That's gonna be annoying. He's over there. Of course, I know he's been weakened. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna send out the guys from Beta. Maybe if I'm lucky I can catch him before he, you know, establishes his base. Cool. It's good that they popped up now, but... Damn. Well, I know that there's a base now there. Let's make him go here. And there's the alien fortress that they put right there. I'll see if that guy can reach there. Though before I go, I guess we'll just go in here and I'll just you know make sure this guy's fed up for if there's a heavy assault. Yeah, we'll make this guy the heavy assault. Might be a bad idea putting him in as a because he's got no health, he's got... Well, no health is the main thing. Everything else is fine, more or less, about him. And those guys can be equipped as needed. Airstrike. Oh, that's uh, cool. That's one of the problems with, like, you know, sending guys out. The Marauder couldn't make it um, all the way over there at the slow speed as the strike was going, so... Oh, excellent. I have more Marauders! You guys will work on new. Well, at least that's done. They have the Marauders. Well, I guess Beta's turn is now up. And we'll do this yet again. Another base assault. For now, that'll be it for this episode. Take care.